NASA's Cassini spacecraft just took its first of 22 planned plunges through the narrow gap between Saturn's rings and the planet itself, going where no spacecraft has ventured before and kicking off the mission's grand finale. On September 15th, the spacecraft will plunge directly into Saturn's atmosphere and burn up. Space.com is talking with NASA engineer Joan Steuben about the risks of the ring dives and what scientists hope to learn from the craft's dramatic end. So Cassini's made its first dive, but you won't hear back until about 20 hours afterwards, is that right? Yes, that's correct. So at this moment, Cassini has already made the dive, but the first time that uh, Cassini will turn its antenna back towards Earth and tell us if everything's okay or if something uh, went unexpectedly, and we'll hear a little, very late tonight. All right, so in terms of the unexpected, what are the risks of diving within the rings? So the, the rings of Saturn, uh, the ring scientists have spent a, a long time, more than a decade, characterizing those rings. But that small gap between the inside of the innermost ring and the top of the atmosphere, uh, the, where the ring ends isn't known fully. So we're aiming for a 1,200 mile gap in there, and we think that it's clear of debris, but there is a, poss a small possibility that there could be small bits of, of uh, debris particles, flecks of dust in there. So when we dive the spacecraft through that gap for the first time, we're actually going to turn and use our antenna as a big shield to protect all of the delicate parts of the spacecraft from any stray flecks of dust that could be going up to 45 times the speed of a bullet. Wow, so it can protect against flecks of dust. Can it also protect against bigger particles or you're not expecting to encounter any of that? We're, we're not expecting to encounter, you know, a, a, any very large, uh, very large pieces. So yeah, the, the antenna should be able to protect from the smaller flecks of dust uh, and still be able to operate and communicate with Earth. What do researchers hope to learn from those dives? The Cassini scientists are hoping to learn a lot about the uh, rings of Saturn. We haven't been able to fully characterize uh, th their, them before because they're it, we've only been able to look at them with the planet Saturn before. So this is the first time that we're going to be able to look at the rings and Saturn separately. So we'll be able to uh, learn how old the rings are, and that will tell us a lot of information about uh, how they were formed, and also to learn about what the interior of Saturn looks like. How big is the core? What is the inside made of? Uh, how does the magnetic field work uh, of the planet itself? Once Cassini makes it through the first dive, is it likely to pretty easily get through all 22? The, the, that's an excellent question. So the Cassini spacecraft, when it crosses through that 1,200-mile that gap, we're going to be crossing in different places in that gap during our 22 dives. So it, it, you know, some of them were crossing right through the middle, and so then we have very little risk because we're you know, virtually sure that there are no particles there. But some of the later uh, crossings, we're going to be coming a lot closer to where we think the edge of the ring is. So the risk to the spacecraft varies uh, ba based on where we're crossing that gap. And so we have plans in place if the area is, uh, you know, more thick with with debris than we expect, then we, the engineers are, are ready to make last minute changes to how we go through the ring.